Now, when I first heard that lick, I just about fell out because I loved it so much. And uh, that's, you know, so typical of Stanley Turrentine. That lick um, is, um, that, that motif is from um, Stanley Turrentine and Jimmy Smith's tune, Back at the Chicken Shack. I don't know who wrote it. I guess probably Jimmy Smith probably wrote it. But it's uh, from a recording with Stanley Turrentine and Jimmy Smith. And it's uh, you'll find it on YouTube. Just search Back at the Chicken Shack, Stanley Turrentine. And um, it's at 5 minutes and 20 seconds into the tune. So Stanley doesn't play the first solo. He plays, uh, you know, he works a bit on the head there. Uh, then you hear have a couple of other solos. And then Stanley comes in. Um, he doesn't play that on the first chorus. That's at the top of the second chorus of his solo, and it's a motif he kind of develops. He doesn't re restate that particular motif, but he goes, uh, you know, Stanley, he's great at just developing lick kind of oriented um, ideas. So um, this, you know, when you start playing Stanley Turrentine, it's not so much about the notes as it is about the way he plays these notes. And, and, you know, we could say that about anybody, but Stanley just has such a unique presentation. And, um, and he uses some, um, some alternate fingerings as well that, that help. So, you know, the lick, G, and here's the thing. You have to be familiar with two ways to finger B flat. And I've covered this in um, my jazz sax quick licks and tips video called the B flat wop. Um, anyway, um, you know, there's the, the Bisky B flat fingering, which is the first finger over two keys, the, the B key and the Biz key, the little key right there. And then the other fingering, the wop fingering, you finger an A in the left hand. Now you can keep your finger on the on the Biz key but you finger an A in the left hand, and then you finger an E flat in the right hand. So one, two, three, like a D, and then the E flat. So you've got those fingerings, and of course this is in the upper register, so we've got the octave key press. So the B flat fingering, that's your biz key B flat, and then the WAP fingering. Okay, now the lick starts out, the motif starts out, on a G and it goes immediately to the WAP fingering for the B flat and then he slides to the biz key B flat fingering okay so um, so you hear the throatiness of the WAP fingering and in fact you can accentuate that throatiness by pulling that sound back into your throat deep, you know, like you may, maybe you've worked on overtones to do, to uh, learn to control your tone. But anyway, but do oh, oh. so if you if you uh, if you pull that sound back into the throat, boom, oh, it actually starts with the wah. Oh. So you hear how I'm going from the, the WAP fingering to the B flat. Then he does a quick trill to a, to a C sharp or a D flat. B flat to the D flat, back to the B flat, down to a G. To the C, to the G. So we've got G. WAP B flat fingering, biz key B flat fingering, a quick trill or turn to the D flat, back to the B flat biz key fingering, to the G, to the C. And then back to a G. And then he does the opposite of the way he started the lick. Rather than going to the WAP fingering for the B flat, he goes to the biz key B flat fingering, followed by the WAP fingering. And he ends it with this little, you hear a little up to like an F, so like the fork fingering F. You know, and it's a quick one. It's a quick one and it's real subtle. I didn't execute it very well that time. Let me try it one more time. Yeah, you hear a little bit of it there. And then he answers that with D, E, G, A. And he's putting the, the growl in there and the style with the time. Ba do, do, da. So it's swinging hard. So again, the whole lick. Four. 
man, what a killer lick. And then he, uh, then he goes on a little journey through the, through the chorus and, uh, and ends with some, um, some repeated notes that really kind of bring to mind the, uh, the sound that he started the chorus with. So you have to check the whole thing out. And then, uh, you know, see if you can find some other licks and riffs uh, and motifs through this solo. And I've got another Stanley Turrentine um, motif coming up in in a subsequent video so stay tuned and you'll hear another one so anyway uh, by the way this is a G blues on tenor saxophone F concert G blues on tenor saxophone back at the chicken shack five minutes and 20 seconds into the tune okay oh and by the way be sure to check out my jazz improv lessons at beginningsax.com, www.beginningsax.com, and also subscribe. You can subscribe for a low monthly rate to my complete jazz improv and beginning sax lesson series at www.randyhunterjazz.vhx.tv. Okay, take care.